Welcome to the first in a series of videos running through the features of the Organization Toolkit. Now the Organization Toolkit is a plugin that we've developed for LearnDash and it's intended for anyone who delivers their training to organizations. And by organizations that could be businesses, charities, schools, or any type of organization where you would have groups of learners coming into your platform to do your training. So let's have a quick look at some of the features that the plugin brings at the center of everything, you have organizations. So what the plugin does is introduce to your LearnDash platform the concept of organizations. And once you have this, for each organization, you can set up things like overbranding and tailor the look and feel of your platform to certain organizations. You can enable new enrollment methods such as registration forms and enrolling people via spreadsheet imports a sense of licenses, so you could potentially sell or distribute licenses to the organizations that you work with, and they would be able to then use those with their learners or their, their teams to be able to enroll them onto your platform. We can also tailor certain bits of content within your platform to organizations. So for any given organization, organization you might want to show some specific content, and this plugin allows you to do that. And we also give the option for leaders or team leaders within organizations to be able to look at the progress of anyone within their group. So it gives the, the clients or the organization some visibility on how their staff or um, organization members are progressing through your courses. So to go through these features one by one, what we're going to do is create a fictitious organization called Home Tech. And that's what we'll be doing in this series of videos. So throughout this, the, the videos, we're going to go through a different feature and uh, we'll, we'll explore what the options are in, in each one as we go through. And the fictitious organization we're going to create is called Home Tech. So firstly, let's go back to the WordPress dashboard. And once you have installed and activated this plugin, on the left-hand side, you'll have something here called Organization Toolkit. And the first thing we're going to look at is Organizations. And this will list any organizations that you have set up within your LearnDash platform. So we've got three as an example here, EcoWater, Discover, and Rapid Files. And each one, as we see here, can have a logo. We can see the number of users associated with it and the number of groups. And we've got a few links here that we'll, we'll come to in subsequent videos. What we're going to do is create a new organization called Home Tech, and we'll be using this organization to show you these features in the subsequent videos. So first, then we'll go to Add New Organization. And we're going to call this organization Home Tech. And we'll go through some of the features here for setting up. An organization. Firstly, we can upload a logo for the organization. And what we want to do is find a JPEG, PNG, or GIF of the logo, which sometimes the organization will supply to you. And ideally, it will be a transparent uh, PNG, which is the best type of, of format, and between 500 and 800 pixels wide with no empty space surrounding it. And what I mean by that is that the logo should go edge to edge of the image that you're supplied with no white space around it. And we'll see more about that when I upload the logo here. We can choose upload files, select them from our computer, and we have one here, home tech. And what I meant there about uh, going edge to edge is that there's, you can see here, there's no white space around this logo. It's right up to the edges. And we're going to select it and upload it. And that is now chosen here. And we can click use this file. And that logo has now been uploaded and applied to this organization. In a subsequent video, we'll talk about how we set up overbranding of the, pro, yeah, the interface for the users of this organization. But there are things we can do, like we can show the logo, and we can also add custom CSS, which we'll talk about in the next video. And we also have customization on the way, whether or not we show or hide it. We've also got another set of company details that you can populate here. These are mainly for your own internal use. And um, you know, the, 
they're not shown to the client or anything like that, but it's, it's more for when you're creating your organizations, if you ever wanted to look up certain information about them, you can store that here within within these. So these are optional fields and you might not choose to use them, but if you do, you know, you've, you've got those available to you. So what we're going to do now is click on publish and that'll be the end of this first video. And we can see that we've created this home tech organization that we'll be using in the sub subsequent videos. And that has now been created. And if we go back to organization toolkit organizations again, we can see at the top here, we have our home tech organization. At the moment, this has no users or groups associated with it. But what we're going to do over the next set of videos is, is go through and, and populate these and get this organization up and running.